everybody, it's Pixels, and welcome to the Average Everyday Adventures of Samantha Brown. This is a game that, of course, I found on itch.io, made by Lemon Sucker Games. And it just looks really pretty and really cute and just kind of like one of those major feel games. And I need, uh, I need a feels game right now. But, um... Alright, I am going to shortly read you a little bit about the game, and then we're going to jump in. So, Samantha Brown has been waiting patiently in her dorm room for everyone else to fall asleep, go out, or do whatever it is people who enjoy human interaction do. She's hungry, really hungry, and it's starting to get to her. The issue is not food. She's got a whole box of oatmeal sitting here, just staring at her, waiting for her consumption. All she really needs is some help. Your help sp specifically, wow, I can't say specifically. <laughs> Trouble is, helping Samantha isn't always easy. Samantha is an introvert. I feel for her. I really do. I have some introverted tendencies. I toads get it. So let's start. Let's help Samantha get some yummy, yummy oatmeal. Let me see. Where to begin? Somewhere in the middle of a country lived a girl. Looks like um, England or the UK. I think it's UK. I don't know. Ge geography is not my strong suit. Well, to be slightly more specific, the girl lived at a university in the middle of the country. She lived in one of the most remote, remote dorms on the university's campus. But no one at her school called it a dorm. They all called it a flat. So that's what she called it. Her name was Samantha, and there wasn't anything particularly interesting about her. It was just another weeknight, or maybe it was a weekend. Samantha wasn't entirely sure, nor did she really care. Samantha spent most of her time alone in her room. The only time she's not in her room is when she's in class, at the library, or hiding in a corner somewhere drinking coffee. I love coffee. We have so much in common, me and you, Samantha. So much. Samantha's been sitting in her room for the last six hours, waiting for everyone to fall asleep. She's hoping to catch the kitchen in a rare state of abandonment. And this is where we join her. Oh, before I forget, watch out for the hunger meter. All right. Oh, hey, Hunger Meter. How's it going? It's there to let you know how hungry Sam is getting. But be careful. Too many wrong decisions and something terrible could happen. Oh, no. Do we get really hangry? Like, all right, what do you mean by terrible? Just, uh, can we, oh, okay. I guess I mean terrible. Extremely or disastrously bad or serious. Distressingly bad or serious. That, um, makes sense. All right then, let's, uh, let's do this. One more thing. To move forward in the story, simply click on the dialogue boxes like I've been doing this whole time. If you need to return to the main menu, click the upper left corner. Your progress will automatically be saved so you can continue your quest at any time. Alright, left corner. So this this is left, right? No, 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 that's right. This is left. Oh, bad day. Bad day. Well, that's it for me. Good luck. Maybe I need a tattoo right and left on my hands. I had a music teacher that would write that on our hands. Sam Cat. Hey, yeah. What do you do today, my sweetness? Um, I don't know. Stuff. Hey, not much. Just hung out with the cat. What about you? Mm, the usual. Did some homework, watched my show, drank obscene amounts of coffee. That's a good day. So do you think anyone would be in the kitchen right now? Uh, maybe? I don't know. What time is it there? Like 10.30ish. Um, could be. I mean, you're in a college, so nobody really sleeps. So, yeah, I don't know. Also, why do you care if anyone's in the kitchen? Uh, some excuse is fine. They don't, I don't know how no I know this person if I'd actually tell them. Because I don't want to wake anybody up. 
blah, I'm so hungry. Um, well, have you had dinner yet? Well, not really. Sam. Well, I was going to get food, but then the grocery store was closed, and I was watching my show, and I was all... I could go make oatmeal or just eat a flapjack from the vending machine. But I'm still not entirely sure what a flapjack is, so a flapjack is a pancake. That's how I know what a flapjack is. A flapjack is a pancake. So I think I'm literally just talking to a bot right now, which is amazing. Sam, don't be silly. Go make yourself some food. Alright, Charbot. Fine. I swear if I see anyone. Okay. Here I go. We're gonna be brave. Five minutes later. Uh, I can do this. I just have to get out of bed, get the oatmeal, and walk to the kitchen. See? Simple task. That's easy. People walk to the kitchen every day. Yes, they do. They do. See, the oatmeal's just right over there. I see it. Three awesome flavors. Okay. I'm officially out of bed. Hmm, which kind of oatmeal do I feel like today? <gasps> Blueberries and cream, maple and walnuts, apples and cinnamon. I would eat any of these. Like, all three of those? That's my jam. That is my jam. But I'm kind of feeling uh, blueberries and cream. I'm not completely out of summer yet. Not completely. Meh. I don't think so. Not today. Really? Alright, um, how about maple and walnuts? Sounds good, yeah. yeah. No? Blah! I mean, it's not my favorite, but it'll do. Really? You wanted apples and cinnamon? Well, why didn't you just get that one? Now I just have to figure out how many packs to make. Should I make one, two, or three? Mmm, I'm gonna go with safety and say two. Two seems appropriate. This says I'm hungry, but I'm not a cow. Two is a totally reasonable amount of oatmeal for someone to eat. It is. And totally- we have so much to agree on! Whoa! I made a choice! You d Sam, I am so proud of you. I really am. Look at me making choices like an adult. Oh my god. <laughs> this is my life. My life! Wait a sec, though. I still need something to eat this with. Um, yeah, a spoon. And what do we have here? A cute kitty cup and a spoon. And now, it's time to play. <gasps> nice drums. What are we playing? This game just got so much more amazing. Alright, let's choose a spoon. The only game show where you choose that spoon! Please, choose that spoon! Okay, okay, hold on. You win! Tell them what they've won! You've won an amazing all-purpose eating utensil worth an astounding value of $199.95! That is an expensive-ass spoon. Alright, now just have to grab my mug and off we go. Alright, we can do this. Alright. Mug? Check. Oatmeal? Check. Securely in the mug. Spoon? Yup. I think that's it. Uh, wait. Just hang on a minute. What if someone's in the hallway? I mean, should I go out there right this second? Um... I don't know. If we see someone, we might freak out. So wait, what's our next option? Are you sure you have everything? Uh, what about the things? The things! Okay, I can't believe I almost forgot my keys. That would have sucked so bad. Okay, should I go now? Yes. Yes. We have- uh oh. Whoa. I have to walk all the way down there? Oh. I'm never gonna make it. Alright, 
it's fine, it's fine. I'm just gonna take it slow. Take it slow. I'll just take a deep breath and everything will be fine. Yep, everything is totally good. It is, we'll be fine. See, look, it's a little better. We're doing okay. I just have to take this one step at a time. The thing is, I'm just not a people person. I tried to tell everyone, but did they listen? No. I mean, communal kitchens? That's the worst possible idea. Here you go, eat in front of a bunch of complete strangers. How about no? How about I eat in the safety and comfort of my own room? No one would bother me there. Yeah, that's a much better idea. But here I am, creeping like a creeper. Bah! Oh no, I got scurred. Shit! Is someone coming? Okay, false alarm. We're fine. Everything is okay. Onward we go. I just want to eat my oatmeal in peace. I don't want to see anyone. I don't want to hear anyone. And I sure as hell don't want to talk to anyone. Because, you know what? The last time I talked to someone, they told me I did my eyeliner wrong. Small eyes, that's what they told me. It made my eyes look small and I should trust her because she knew how to do makeup? Well, what the hell am I doing? I wear makeup every day. Is she saying I don't know how to do my own makeup? Because that's super rude. Like, how about you refrain from talking about my face until we know another for like five minutes? Is, is that the light? Oh my god, what if people are in there or worse? What if they want to eat with me? I know, Sam. It's okay. Calm it down. Just, it's okay. It's okay. Sh should I go in? You know what? We have made it this far. We cannot turn back now. I, w I forbid it. We're gonna go in. We are gonna go in. We're so hungry. Just, oh, oh, there's people! Oh my god, there's people! Nightmare confirmed! Uh, should I say hello? Do people still say hello to one another? Uh, what should I do? Just, um... You know what, we're gonna be safe. Don't say anything. <laughs> Screw them. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna make oatmeal. What about it? Everyone thinks oatmeal is gross, but it's really good and it sweeps cholesterol from the arteries and that seems important. It does. That seems very important. Let's get to this oatmeal making, girl. There. I made it. That's like half the battle. It is. We have made half the battle. We've made it to the kitchen. We're gonna make our oatmeal. We didn't talk to anybody because that would have been a conversation and we ain't about conversations. That's not our thing. So, <laughs> all right guys, I am really enjoying this game way too much and is reflecting many things about my life. I mean, I'm not that introverted where I'm like, I can't go to a communal kitchen and make meals or anything like that, but I totally, totally understand the introvert status because I'm, I'm not a party person. Like most of the times I'm cool with staying at home or if I do go out somewhere, I'll interact with people, but there's just like so much interaction I can take. Just. Just, there's me. I can take a little, but when there's too much, it overwhelms and I get really super tired and I just want to go home and sleep. Or hang out with my dog. Maybe that's not healthy. I don't know. Don't know. But alright guys, we're going to end it here for today. And I'm going to leave the epic oatmeal making for the next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. I'm really enjoying playing it. It's amazing. Again, it's a free game on itch.io. There will be a link in the description below. This is the first game from Lemmersucker Games and if they make any more like this I will totally be playing them. So stay tuned for part two coming later in the week. Leave me a comment and a like down below if you like this video. I really hope you do. 
And if you'd like to and haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more awesomely awesome content. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you next time.